here we're going to be looking at sales of receivables and a sale without recourse here. So what are we talking about? We're going to have an, a factoring arrangement without recourse here where the risk of the uncollectability of the accounts receivable rests with the factor or the lender here. And billing and collection is typically done by the factor or the lender here. So what our factor or lender is going to be is going to be Bank B here. They're going to be lending money here uh, to Corporation A, the borrower. What Corporation A here is going to be selling their accounts accounts receivable here to Bank B. They're going to be selling them outright here to Bank B. And Bank B is in turn is going to give uh, Corporation A a cash amount for those receivables and it's going to be a discounted cash amount and they're going to pay Corporation A cash for those receivables and it's going to be discounted by a uh, percentage of allowance for un of sales discounts and sales returns here but not based on any bad or uncollectible accounts just for the sales discounts and sales returns and also we're going to have here a um, a financing expense that Corporation A is going to have to pay here to Corporation B. So let's go up and look at what we're talking about again here. So our factoring of accounts receivables, the uh, receivables are sold to the factoring or the financing company. The factorer buys the accounts receivable at a discount from the face value. Once transferred, the factor or lender will pay a portion of the receivables value in cash and another portion would be held in this reserve account for sales returns and allowance and discounts here. It's not going to be the reserve reserve account for any bad or uncollectible accounts, but it's going to be for the sales returns, allowances, and discounts here. So looking at our example here, the sale of, of receivables without recourse again, Corporation A, the borrower, factors $250,000 of the accounts receivable with Bank B, the lender, on a without recourse basis. So Bank B assesses the finance, we're going to fight assess a finance charge here of 3% of the amount of the accounts receivable and they're going to retain an amount equal to 5% here of the accounts receivable for probable adjustments. That's for the sales discounts and sales allowances but that doesn't include any uncollectible receivables. They're buying those outright here. So let's go and look at our example here again. Corporation A, the borrower here, they're going to be selling an accounts or again notes receivable here to a bank be the creditor or the lender here. So uh, what we would do here for Corporation A, we'd credit or reduce the accounts receivable by $250,000 and then bank B, the lender, would be buying those or debiting their accounts receivable or notes receivable here by $250,000. And then bank B, uh, the lender here, will pay cash to uh, Corporation A here for $230,000. The uh, receivables, their face value here was worth $250,000, but there's going to be a cash discount here of $230,000. So uh, Bank B would credit their cash account here, reduce it for $230,000, and then uh, Corporation A here would debit or increase their cash here by $230,000. Now the cash are the amounts of the accounts receivable here, the cash account here was reduced due to uh, this allowance account here of uh, uh, a reserve of this receivable here for allowance for the sales returns and allowances and discounts here and it was also reduced here based on a financing expense that we're going to be looking at here that uh, Bank B requires on these receivables. So now we, we talked about our cash account here where we ended up debiting it here uh, for Corporation A here for the amount that they're going to receive here on those receivables sold to Bank B here. Now we get down here to this account here due from the factor. That's t uh, You have to remember that. You have to listed here. That's a reserve here of our receivables and again that was based on 5% of the accounts receivables. So let's just go over here and look at that. So 5% of the accounts receivable that's for probable adjustments for the sales discounts and allowances here. It's not for any of the uncollectible accounts. It's just for these sales discounts and allowances here. So we have $250,000 worth of uh, re accounts receivable that were sold times 5% gives us $12,500. So going back here to our accounts here. So Corporation A here would debit the uh, due from the factor here for this reserve on the receivables. They debit here for $12,500. And then the uh, bank B or the lender here would credit uh, the uh, that amount here to their due for, to the borrower here. And this is a reserve that's payable here. They'd credit it for $12,500. Now this due from the factor here, that's a reserve res 
receivable or acts as accounts receivable here so that would be debited here for 12,500 and then again to note here this is a payable here due to the borrower this reserve account here sitting for the bank B here is due to or like a, acts like an accounts payable here so now the other thing we have is oh, again you have to remember this the recorded as a loss on the sale of receivables that's that finance expense that was required in here so um, Corporation A would record that here as a loss on sales of receivables, and Corporation B, or the Bank B here would be recording it as a financing revenue here on those factored accounts receivable. And that's calculated here where you take the receivables that we're looking at here that are being factored, $250,000 times 3% here, the finance charge here, gives us $7,500 here, a finance charge. So again, Corporation A here would be recording it as a loss on sales of receivables as a financing expense here, debit that for $7,500 here, and then and bank B here would be having looking at a financing revenue um, uh, as a revenue account here they'd be crediting that here for $7,500 now just looking at our debits and credits here for uh, Corporation A here we had a credit amount here of $250,000 and then the balancing amount here went to $230,000 for uh, debit amount here to cash plus we had this reserve account here we debit that here for $12,500 and then again our loss in the sales of receivables the financing expense $7,500 so our debits add up to our credit amount here and then one other thing we have to look at is this factoring is usually a continual process here where the seller of the merchandise, in this case it was a Corporation A here, receives orders or transmits them to the factor, that would be the Bank B here. If approved, again by Bank B here, the goods are shipped to the shipped, the factor advances that bank B would advance money to the seller here corporation A and then the buyers of the goods pay the factor or bank B here when the payment is due and the factor or the lender here periodically remits any excess reserve to the seller here for the goods here and what we're talking about is this excess reserve this would be this reserve payable on the uh, sales discounts and sales allowances here if it gets in an excess amount uh, bank B here would just shift it over or return the excess amount here to Corporation A. But nonetheless, they keep some balance sitting here that they uh, determine here based on their contract on those accounts pay uh, accounts receivable that they buy. In this case, it was based on that 5% accounts receivable allowance. Now let's look at the example here where uh, Bank B actually <laughs> Return, gets re, receives some of these accounts receivable. They get paid on these accounts receivable from the uh, creditors sitting out there. They would the buyer or the um, again the buyers here return uh, customers here would give uh, they, uh, bank B collects a hundred thousand dollars against the accounts receivable. So what they would uh, do is credit or reduce their accounts receivable here by a hundred thousand dollars and then they would debit or increase their cash account here by a hundred thousand dollars. Now those on the uh, are the accounts receivable there they, they purchased out here outright here from Corporation E. Then and there's one other thing what I want to look at here is this due from borrower or this reserve payable account. Against those hundred thousand dollars worth of accounts receivable that they collected there was also some sales returns and allowances here. Uh, we had debited that here for two thousand dollars in this case and then there was some sales discount here on those factored accounts receivable here. We debited that here for three thousand dollars. And the point that I want to make here on that it, what we would do here is we would reduce our reserve payable by that amount we would debit that here for two thousand dollars for the sales returns and allowance and then we would also debit that here for three thousand dollars by for the uh, sales discounts here so that's how we'd handle that and you have to keep track of that here and you have to keep track of this reserve payable account here for both the uh, uh, buyer or the uh, corporation E, the borrower here, which is actually a reserve payable, a receivable, and bank B, the lender here, which is a reserve payable. And you just keep track of these sales returns and allowances and sales discounts based on the accounts receivable that they purchased here. And then one last thing that we want to talk about here is uh, 
a bank be the factor of their net income and how it will be determined here. And that's the difference between the financing revenue and any uncollectible receivables here. So they had that financing revenue here of $7,500. That was the $250,000 worth of receivables that they purchased here times 3% that they percent of those receivable for $7,500. Now if they have any uncollectible accounts here that would go against this uh, financing revenue that they have now. That doesn't include any sales returns and allowances that's just the uncollectible accounts here and that the $7,500 here less the uncollectible accounts would determine their net income here for bank B the factor on these accounts receivable that they've purchased here. So that summarizes our uh, sales of receivables and a sale without recourse here.